Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and we are back in the last three of the mini golf hole challenges, and this is where we're going to step it up a notch. Now, you may recognize what we have here so far. This is actually a identical replica of hole one, where all you have to do is hit the ball straight, but this is actually going to be hole seven. So hole seven is going to be a little bit different where we're going to start adding in multiple balls with multiple holes. So you're going to spawn in here thinking that you're going to have a simple hole. But when you press this button, you're not going to get uh, the white ball to show up here. Instead, there's going to be a whole nother section of course behind you that you're going to have to complete first in order to activate the uh the white ball for the finish there so finishing the hole is going to be the easy part but starting the hole that's where things are going to get a little bit more complicated okay so for this one i have what i think is a somewhat unique idea i'm going to have four different colored balls that you're going to have to get into a designated hole and the way i want to do that is i actually want kind of a rotating platform here with four sides and this platform is going to be rotating and it's going to be showing a different ball socket on each side with a different colored ball. So what you're basically gonna have to do is time your hits of each ball to get across when the appropriate socket is on the top. And then each one will have a slightly more difficult uh, pathway, I guess, to hit your ball across. I'm not quite sure how it's gonna look yet, but um, I guess we'll find out in a bit. Okay, so we got step one here. When you press the button, that is going to trigger the first ball, which is red. I'm just having it be in order of uh, rainbow, like red, orange, yellow, blue. So the first ball that is going to spawn is the red one, which is going to be closest to this area. So then as you uh, accomplish each hole, the next ball will spawn and it'll spawn just a little bit further back, just increasing the difficulty of that slight bit. So up next, we have to figure out what exactly we're going to have them go across and how far we're going to have them go across. Now, the frustrating thing that I've been running into a lot with these um, types of things is that the ball spawns in a center. Like, that is not where I can put a bearing. So whenever I have things rotating, it's always just half of a block off the center of where the ball actually is. But um, we're just going to have to deal with that, unfortunately. Brush the frustration off there and... Pretend like everything's okay. So the frustration is not getting any better. I just uh, built a an end zone pretty much of where the holes are going to be. So we'll have a different colored hole on each side just like this. And then I'm realizing this has to rotate around a center point. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by eight. Which makes the center in the middle of this area here which we cannot have it rotate in that area so we're gonna have to make something that is a little bit it's not gonna be symmetrical some somehow it's gonna be weird something has to be something has to be weird but don't worry i'm gonna figure it out and we'll I, i'll let i'll let you know what happens all right i got it it has a center point now and it's symmetrical except for the fact that each hole is offset I think to the left of center by one block, or I guess kind of half a block since it, the center is not on a block. It's in between the blocks. But it's okay. It's okay. We're just going to deal with it. And um, that's just going to be part of the difficulty. Part of the difficulty is not only getting the ball in the hole, but also dealing with the frustration of the off-centeredness of this thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the tube. So I hope that this thing isn't too heavy and that we can actually rotate this thing with either engines or controllers. And I think controllers are probably going to be our best bet. So this is just um, this is just the bare bones tube right now. I'm going to actually make each of these surfaces gradually harder, depending on which one of the balls you are focusing on. But uh, before we start adding more weight to this thing, I first have to find out, will it work? So I did weld this so that there is a bearing on each side in hopes that this is going to make it uh, just that much more strong when it comes to the rotation. All right, and it is on. Check this out. Now, I definitely got to make some adjustments because this is the slowest rotation speed if I have it going at 360 degrees per rotation. So we're going to have to um, we're going to have to adjust that. Now, I did consider, I don't know if I want to make it constantly rotate or if I want to have it rotate 90 degrees, stop, rotate 90 degrees, stop. 
The only problem with rotating 90 degrees and stopping is if I want to create that on a loop, if the last uh, step is blank like this, it actually doesn't take it into account. For example, if I change this to 90 degrees and I just have it loop, it's just gonna keep rotating a constant 90 degrees. It's not gonna take any of these empty steps into account. And if I have it rotate 90 degrees, stop 90 degrees, then it's gonna go 90 degrees, stop 90 degrees, 90 degrees, stop 90 degrees, 90 degrees. So there's gonna be a missing blank in there. And the only way to really get around that is just to like add like a one degree. Th oh, actually this could work because then they'll be fighting each other for that step. And then it should continue the rotation. But uh, hold on, let me let me turn this off for a second. Uh oh, it's gonna be stuck in it's gonna be stuck in its loop for a little bit. I hate how this happens. No, it's not going all the way. No matter what, it's not going all the way. Because every other one should have that conflict, and then every other one should go to exactly zero. But each one is stopping slightly before zero, which makes it a little bit difficult, actually. Yeah, so I'm gonna make this slightly faster. And I know that this is going to mess everything up because of the way that the controllers work when you change settings after it's been going. But we're going to see how this goes. Yeah, so now it's just going to constantly go for a little bit until it catches up with itself, and then it'll resume the programming. All right, here it goes. Here it goes. 90 degrees. There we go. And then stop. Whoa, that's worse. Why is that worse? All right, just as an experiment, I'm going to put it on max speed and just see how that feels. I feel like the speeds aren't making a difference. It seems to be going the same speed regardless. I think this just might just be too big for the bearings to have any type of accurate feedback from the controller. You know what I'm thinking though? What if we have it at this speed? And part of the challenge is that if your ball doesn't have enough time to get all the way down as it flattens, you're gonna actually have to pre like estimate when the ball is going to like roll here and then kind of go over the edge and into it. And you'll just have to do that four times in a row from a farther and farther distance back. That could be part of the challenge. And then we could just have like minimal difficulty with um, adding things to the surface here. Oh, it finally caught up with itself. Whoa, now look what's happened. Whoa, oh, what? Now it's just going the other way. You know, I'm just going to save and test and see what it does. We're going to see what the behavior is um, in the actual game here. Okay, now it's actually, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now it's actually stopping good. Look at that. This is pretty good. Hold on, let me see what happens when I press the button here. Oh, this hasn't been hooked up yet. So that's also gonna spawn something in, which we don't want. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot that that happens too. Oh, and quick note, I saw, I've been seeing a lot of your comments about the sledgehammers and that you can do um, help down here and it says that you can do enable sledgehammer, but um, I've typed that in and nothing happens. I don't know why. Like, say if I, if I put my sledgehammer away here and then I type in enable sledgehammer, nothing happens in this mode, but then same thing if I go to stop test. And if I do it in this mode here, the build mode, whoops, enable underscore sledgehammer. It says enable sledgehammer equals false, which is telling me that the, the sledgehammer is not enabled. But when I type in enable sledgehammer equals true, it says that that's an invalid thing. So I don't know what I need to do to make the sledgehammer as part of the inventory, but just typing enable sledgehammer doesn't work like a lot of your comments were saying. So let me know what I'm doing wrong and then I can actually try to fix it. Okay, so we're back here. What? Oh, now this is weird. Apparently between play and build mode, this thing behaves differently and that's not good. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna put it on the full 360. We're gonna get rid of these settings. And I think I like the idea. It's probably gonna add an extra level of difficulty to it. I'm just gonna put this on full 360. What does, uh, I don't know what, I don't know if max speed is a good idea. Let's see what max speed feels like. All right, so apparently this is max speed. I think this is good. Look at this, oh. Should we have a backboard or no? Part of me is thinking no, this is hole seven. We've had some pretty difficult stuff on hole six. Let's do, let's do this, let's do this for hole seven. We're gonna have no backboard. So that way there's nothing, nothing's gonna save you at the end there to give you that last ditch chance of getting it in the hole. All right, I like this. So now we have to 
paint all of these at the appropriate color and then hook them up so that they're going to trigger the next ball in the sequence. And then when all of them are activated, only then should this get triggered, which means we're going to have to add some logic here. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the rotating mini golf tube of doom or something like that. And uh, I don't know if I made this too hard. It might be too hard. Uh, it's rotating. It's got so. All right. Well, let me let me work our way up there. So red, the easiest is just straight. And then comes orange, which has just a little bit of a ramp at the end. And then yellow has all of these screws going across it. And then blue has a combination of harder screws, which are the pipes, and then a bunch of little ramps, which I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this, but I think it's time. I got everything hooked up too, so uh, we should have everything spawn in in order and then trigger the final ball for the end of the hole there, but uh, this is gonna be a doozy. Let's see if we can complete this. All right, so we are in, and you can see I do not have my hammer in here, despite typing enable hammer in both build and play mode. But uh, let's go ahead and get our hammer. We press the button. You hear a ball spawn in, but it is behind you instead of in front of you. So we need to get the red, which comes after blue. And also you can see I have indicators up there that show uh, which ones you may or may not have gotten. So I don't, I really don't know when the right timing is going to be here, but we got blue and let's go ahead and hit it. Oh boy. Oh, that's an issue. Oh. <gasps> That's an issue. Oh, you can't even like, oh no. Oh, this is gonna be so difficult. All right, blue, then go. I didn't anticipate that. I did not, whoops. I did not anticipate that. It might, it might be worth it to put this down a peg. Okay, we fixed it. So now let's see if we could even do this challenge. All right, there's the red, go, go, go. All right, well that, um, I might have made this too long. It's gonna be really hard, especially when it gets to the blue back here. Oh man, we have to, we're gonna to have to lead that so much. Okay, so we gotta wait for the blue. The blue's coming. Orange, yellow, here comes the blue. And we gotta kind of go when the white comes maybe. Eh. Oh, too early, too early. Okay, I'm seeing it though. Wow, I made this, I think I made this tube too long. Might have to cut it down a little bit. All right, blue, then go. Nope, nope, nope. I think we could have had that if we went just slightly later or angled slightly to the left. I don't know. I don't know. The good news is that it spawns in before it comes back around, so we don't really have to wait. Ooh, that was terrible. That was way too late. We don't have to wait for two rotations. We just wait one rotation and the ball is ready. Okay, this is, just, this is the easy one. This is the easy mode here. There we go, there we go, there we go. No, oh. Man, I may have to readjust things. We can't even do the easy mode. Oh, nope, nope. Okay, here it goes, here it goes. Oh, 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 that's so close. Oh man, it's just too, it slows down too much. On to the red, just like that, and then slow down too much that, oh! You see that, we nailed it. That was super sketchy though. And I did not anticipate this. Oh, it spawns in another one? I don't like that. How do we not? Oh, I don't like that at all. Okay, you know what we need to do? We need to create, we need to create a, um, a closing mechanism up here. I thought that once the ball was in, then it wouldn't spawn back in anymore. So it does seem to spawn in a duplicate though. All right, back to the drawing board. And I think we're, I think I made this a little bit too hard though. We're gonna have to make it either rotate slower, which I don't think we can, or we have to change the length of the tube of doom to make it easier for the ball to reach the end. All right, I've made the adjustments. I've shortened this. You can see it is a much shorter now. It should be a little bit easier. And um, I've also added these things. I hope they're gonna close in time, but once you trigger the appropriate hole, it should close this preventing the ball from spawning in the way and then just keeping it up in there. So let's see what happens. We got blue and then red comes next. Let's just go ahead and hit it. And we missed, but that's okay. First try, no reason to expect it's gonna work on the first try, right? All right, there we go. Blue comes back around and then red. Go, 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 go. All right, we got it. It didn't, didn't trigger this. That should have triggered the controller to do the thing. Okay, we gotta go back. Okay, that's really weird because 
you can see this controller right here is hooked up to this right here. And that got turned on. So that should have... Hmm. That really should have done this. Now, what if we route it from the holes directly? So red hole will trigger that controller and so on. All right, so we are back in. Ooh, 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 that was really good. And for some reason, those holes are not triggering these controllers. What am I, am I missing something or is this just a glitch? All right, so I'm gonna disconnect the red hole from the red controller and then we're just gonna hook up a dummy switch just to see what happens when this controller gets triggered. That's what should happen. What is, why are they not being triggered? That doesn't make any sense. They're not being triggered directly by these things. Do that, does that not work? Maybe we need to have each one of these trigger a logic gate, and then that logic gate then activates the controller. All right, well, here comes the first test. I have to actually successfully do this first. That looks good. Yes, yes, it worked. Okay, so for some reason you can't hook up either those triggers or this ball spot or the ball sockets directly to a controller that doesn't work for some reason. Okay, so this is our first time getting on to level two here. Okay, so we have that and then eh. Oh boy, this is gonna be difficult. You know what? It's good. We want this to be difficult, because remember, hole six was actually really difficult. So this it makes sense that this should be a little bit more difficult than hole six. I just don't know if it's gonna be impossible, especially that blue section. That blue section looks a little bit sketchy. Ooh, 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 no, not quite, not quite. All right, this might take a little bit. This might take a lot of tries here. All right, we got red, then we got orange. Oh man, this is tough. Because like the angle matters and the timing matters a lot for this. See, like that time my angle was too far to the left and the timing was a little bit late. But if I had my timing a little bit earlier, that might have been good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I thought that was going to make it. That was really close. I actually kind of feel like this might still be too far. Yeah, that no way that one's going to make it. You really have to anticipate it. You have to get it on the white and then have it kind of roll over onto the next section. But if you don't have your angle right, then it just gets pushed off. Uh. That looks good. That looks... Wow, those bumps really do mess you up. Because it would... Like, the rotation would push your ball a little bit more to the left, but those bumps make it just ride right over instead of uh, going with the rotation. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was close. I went really early that time when the red was still visible to see if I could roll it, like, all the way around. Let's try that again. All right, there we go. There we go. And yet, those bumps mess us up again. Okay, I went really early on that one. There it was. That was perfect. Whoops, I got in the way of the yellow one. Here, I'll just I'll just hit that off and we can get a respawn. I was standing underneath the yellow. And look, we caught the orange one. And now the yellow one comes in. Okay, all right. We're working our way down. We're working our way down. But now we are a little bit further away. And we have to deal with not bumps. This one might actually be a little bit easier because we're only dealing with screws. But watch, watch me be completely wrong on that one. Okay, so now we need to start when yellow hits. All right, so there's yellow. I'm going to start now. No, nope, not enough of a left angle. I need to angle it left a little bit more. See, that's kind of the weird thing about this, is we have all the obstacles on the individual color hole. Whoops, a little bit too late on that one. Yeah, we have all the obstacles on the hole of its color, but you kind of have to hit it on the previous hole, so those obstacles actually factor in. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hit it left on orange. Here we go. Left on orange. That was it right there. Blue comes down. Yellow gets captured. Okay, here's blue. It's supposed to be the hardest hole of them all. I'm going to hit it early on yellow. There we go. That was not nearly enough. This is going to be tough. Look how much it slows down. And then the oh, the blue is going to be so difficult. Okay, here we go. Yellow. Eh. Nope. <laughs> I don't know, man. It might be too far. How much far farther back we spawn in here is going to make a big difference. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is possible. I think this is possible. That was like a little bit of a taste right there. And then I hope I have all the logic hooked, hooked up right. That should spawn in once we get the blue in here. Whoops, I missed it. 
I have to wait for it to come back around. All right, here we go. Yellow. And then hit. Go. Go. Ooh. It slows down so much. Oh. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Oh. We did it. We did it. And then we just have the easy finish. Just like... Oh, am I really not going to make it? Am I really... Really not going to... You got to be kidding me. Oh. 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 Oh, hole completed. This, I like this one. I think this is a pretty good one. That took me almost seven minutes. So there it is. This is hole seven. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for hole eight and nine, because it should get more difficult than this. And I'm going to keep with the, just so you guys know, I'm keeping with the multi-ball uh, thing for his holes eight and nine. That's going to be the theme of these last three holes. The first three holes were simple and introductory. The second three holes were like balance beam type uh, themes. And then these three holes are going to be multi-ball puzzle almost type themes. So let me know if you have any ideas for how we can use that. If you missed the other holes in the series, go ahead and check out this playlist right here of this whole mini golf series on the channel. And um, let me know what holds your favorite so far. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.